Hey everybody, it's your boy OG Kitch coming back with another edition of Kitchen Everything. I know I've been gone for a minute and I've just been doing like the picture videos, but I'm back and I'm here. And tonight, woo, tonight, shrimp and lobster risotto. I figured when I came back, I was going to come back with a dish. The dishes of all dish. This is going to be sex on a fucking plate. And I'm about to get busy with it because I do that. So let me give you a rundown of what I got going on. We'll just start over here. Got my chicken stock getting heated up. Can't make risotto with cold stock. So we're getting that heated up. Getting this heated up to uh, steam off the shrimp and the lobster. Because we're going to put that in the Bermonte sauce. Yeah, I know you don't know. But it's a Bermonte sauce. I'm going to walk you through that. I kind of got a little chip on my shoulder because uh, people don't think I do this for real. Nigga, I do this for real. I earned the right to wear this coat. I ain't playing. Not at all. But y'all about to find out today. Lobster. Shrimp. We got some Italian short grain rice, a.k.a. Barrio. I love how that sounds. See how it rolls off my tongue? Barrio rice. Smoked paprika, parsley, white wine, bacon, uh, thyme sprigs, some smoked white cheddar. I wish each and every one of y'all that watched this, they could actually come to my house and actually taste what's about to happen. Because it's going to be explosive and it's going to be fucking gangster. And pornish at that. So, I'm gonna go ahead and first we gotta get some skewers up in the lobsters because when I steam my lobsters, I want them to stay straight. I don't want them to curl up. So we're gonna put these up in there to get that together, and then we'll go from there. So I will be back. Chef Life Movement forever. OG Kitchen is the truth. Deuces. Lobsters popping off up in there. We're going to let them go for about seven minutes. Let them go about seven minutes, but at five minutes, I'm going to go ahead and throw the shrimp up in there. Let that get popping. In the process of that, we want to get an ice bath together because when it comes out of here, you want the cooking process to stop. So we're going to put it in the ice bath. Yeah, I'm going to walk y'all through this like step by step tonight. Test my damn chef hoodness. Psh, fuck back. Deuces, chef life. All right, we got our ice bath. Bang that. Ooh, that's hot. Shrimp, lobster, looking good. Nice old peak, nice and tender. Let that cool down. And the process after that is we're gonna peel these shrimp and we're gonna get this meat up out the shell, that lobster meat. Chef Life Movement Forever, OG Kiss the Truth. Be back in a minute, Chef Life Movement Forever. We got them cool dogs, we got the shrimp peeled. The ones with no tails on them, those are gonna be for um, 
the risotto. The ones with the tails on them, extra joints. Probably gonna dip them in some cocktail sauce. Lobster. Body down. All right, so that's that. Of course, we gotta do a cleanup, and we're gonna get this rest of this loose meat up out of here, and we'll be back with the next step. Skills real over here. <laughs> Chef like moving forever. Deuces. Okay, here we are. Got a little bit of water in the pan. It's boiling. Now that it's boiling, we get ready to make a Bermonte sauce. If anybody didn't know, my original joint, fresh out of culinary school, was a saucier. So I do this very well. So we're gonna have that ready. We got it on high, we're gonna turn it down, medium. The key to a good sauce, ice cold butter. Everything takes time. So one stick at a, I mean one piece at a time. We only got a little bit of uh, what, what's going to go in here is just a uh, one piece of that lobster tail. 
and we're gonna poach it in this. Yeah, look how it's coming together. Mm, 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 mm. When making risotto, I, I just call this love. The average person ain't making risotto. It's too time consuming. I will be standing here stirring this for at least a good 15 minutes. When I get to the risotto, that's going to be a good 20 to 30 minutes of constant stirring. You cannot walk away from it. You cannot stop stirring it. None of that. You don't want it too hot because it will separate. So we're going to make it ahead of time and keep it warm. This passion right here. I don't do this because I have to do it. I just love doing it. The money is just extra. That comes along with it. about this life. I done seen grown men when I used to work in the restaurants just run off the line. Never to be seen again. People be like, yo, hook me up at your job. You ain't about this. 200 degrees ovens on the line. Shoot, ain't about this. <laughs> it's emulsifying and really nice. No separation. It's not breaking. Could put another piece in there. Emulsify the situation. Don't want it boiling. Nothing. It will separate. up in there. Couple sprigs of thyme. And some smoked paprika. About to get this uh, risotto popping. Be back in a minute once we get it popping, get it started. Be back. Chef Life Movement Forever. OG Kiss, the truth.
white onion, yellow onions, but shallots. Can't go wrong with that. You don't want to brown them. Just want to get all that goodness up out of them. Sweat it all out. Bordeaux rice is an Italian rice, it's a short grain rice, it's a starchy rice. That's one of the main reasons why we want our stock hot to bring out the starch, which is going to be a binder for this whole situation. I want to get like an even layer. First batch of liquid, which is going to be white wine. Get that down in there. A half a cup of white wine and the risotto is about to start. So we're going to let all the liquid cook out of here, and then we'll start adding this. Oh yeah. And it's only, a, like I said, a cup of rice, which is end up going to make you like two and a half cups of product. And this is going to be, I'm not going to have y'all here for the whole 30 minutes it is, but this is going to be my movement for the next 30 minutes. So I will be back when we go to the next step of this. If you ain't prepared to do this for 20 to 30 minutes, don't even try to even make the risotto. Right, 30 minutes later, here we go. Now this is what you're looking for. I just tasted it. It's still firm, yet joint. So look, see how it slowly rolled back in? That's done. Now, 
smoked white cheddar. The consensus is over here, there can never be too much cheese, so I'm going to just go ahead and drop it all in. Get that together. We can turn the heat off now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You don't know nothing about this right here. Oh my God, look at that. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Y'all hear my son back there thinking he's Ringo Star up in here. <laughs> he said, is that nigga put in garnish? <sighs> she bacon. Now, we're going to get that lobster in that. Monte sauce. Oh, oh my God, y'all! If y'all can smell, oh, oh my Lord, Jose, time to eat, brother. When my food hit the, when my food be ready, it hit the joint. I want you to eat it hot. Don't get no better than this, miss. <sighs> so, little green onion. Little parsley. Got that lobster in that Vermonte, that lobster. That lobster. I don't know what they told you about me, but they better tell you. They better stop playing with that boy. OG Kitch for real, man. And he get upset when anybody question. So. <laughs> Shrimp and lobster. Uh, risotto with a smoked cheddar. Bacon and lobster poached in uh, our Bermonte sauce. There it is. The moment you start thinking you can rock with me in the kitchen, don't. Why? Because you can't. OG Kitch, Chef Life Movement Forever. OG Kitch is the truth. I do this for real. It's not a game. You want me to taste it on him? You want me to taste it on him? Yeah. Man, let me taste it on him. Do it to him. Not mushy, straight creamy. OG Kiss the Truth. Chef Life Forever. You might well cut that. Y'all gotta eat that while it's hot, yo. It's fire. Deuces. So I hope everybody enjoys tonight uh, video with the uh, risotto, um, but I got a surprise for y'all.
if you look down there, you see where it says, can you see it? OG Kitsch. So we're going to click on that OG Kitsch. And what do we have? Ask OG Kitsch. You can go to my mobile app, which is free, and you can ask me any culinary question that I can get back to you and help you out as, yeah, we're doing big things over here and we're not playing. So there go the OG Kitsch mobile app, and we have some other things coming very, very soon, so be on the lookout for that. But for right now, the OG Kitsch, Ask OG Kitsch app, is available the link will be in the description below it's free you can ask me anything I will get back to you within 72 hours whether it's a culinary question recipe how to do what do I need to do what can I do I got you chef life movement forever OG kitsch the truth deuces Woo!